everybody. Um, I'm back and I have an estate sale haul. Um, it, it was a small estate sale and I got there on um, the 50% off day. So it had already been going on for two days prior. And um, so there wasn't a lot left, um, quite a bit of furniture, uh, mid-century type furniture. And um, so I'm just gonna show you a few things that I picked up. I am trying a little bit of a different setup, so hopefully this works okay. <laughs> um, I have my iPhone on a ring light, so, um, Hopefully this will turn out a little bit brighter. Um, you can see a little bit more detail of the items, but we'll see. And um, I've been watching quite a few videos that talk about, tell people a little bit about yourself um, and actually turn the camera around and show yourself, which I'm not quite comfortable with that yet. So, um, I will tell you that my name is Beth and I do live in Montana. Um, I am a reseller. I work a full-time 40 hour, uh, work week job. And then on the evenings and weekends, I do reselling. Um, I do have an eBay store and I am also on Instagram and I am starting to get into uh, filming for YouTube videos. So, um, I'm probably gonna continue to do videos and uh, see if I get better at this. <laughs> anyway, um, so the first two items that I have from this estate sale haul, and you guys will have to forgive me, my hands, I've been out in the yard, and so my hands are just ripped up right now, but, um, First two items I got are these um, Royal Albert teacup and saucer sets. Um, so these were both, let's see, um, I believe the correct price was um, the $5 tag. So again, I was there on 50% off days, so I think I paid $2.50 for each of these sets. That's the cup and the saucer. Um, so this is Royal Albert. Prairie Rose, very pretty, um, it is, it does have probably transfer design on both sides. I'm trying to get my camera to focus. This one, this is the Royal Albert Wild Rose, and um, it was funny, I had picked up these two items, and I think I had a couple of other things in my hand, and um, one of the ladies that was working the estate sale, she went to get me a box and I started loading up um, a few things in the box. And there was another lady that came up just a few minutes later and she immediately reached into the box and um, picked up this one. And she said, oh, this is pretty. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. I said, those are my items. I said, but you're free, free to look. And um, we kind of both laughed about that. And she said she hadn't really um, seen a yellow um, set before. And I said, I hadn't either. Um, and that was one of the reasons why I picked this one up. I thought it was really pretty. Um, but there's no chips or cracks on these. And um, again, like I said, I paid $2.50 for the set. And I will be doing research on these, but these usually sell um, anywhere from 25 to 35, just depending on, um, 
how rare they are or um, what the what the pattern is or how old the pattern is that type of thing so all right those are the first two items okay the next two items from the um, estate sale this is um i really do have a lot of vintage jewelry that I pick up um, at thrift stores, estate sales, and I am planning to do a separate um, video. I have a lot of pins and brooches and um, a few necklaces and a few rings, um, maybe a few bracelets. Um, quite a few earrings, mostly your clip on, uh, but I do want to do a separate video for that. So I always look for the vintage jewelry and this um, estate company, they also run a small shop in town and um, they're fantastic. They're always very nice. Um, pricing is extremely fair, but she always, um, she was telling me that she always uses vintage cards um, to put her jewelry on so this is a fun vintage card but um it has this little seahorse pin sea dragon pin i don't know what it is seahorse sea dragon and um then this silver um kind of a two-tone finish matte and shiny um, floral brooch usually i get about 12 to 15 dollars for um like the flower brooches and then um, something like this that's a little more stylized um, this one I might be able to get um, possibly up to 30 I'm gonna have to do some research on this one and he's kind of tugging at my heartstrings a little bit so I might I might keep this one I'm not sure yet but again, these two were $3, marked $3, but half price for $1.50 for both of them. So, and I got a fun vintage card out of it. Just wish she didn't write on it. So, um, either way, fun. And then this set, um, this is a Blackstone Canasta playing card set. And, um, I just like the colors, the the green with the black and white birds. They kind of look like they're fighting or mid-flight. Um, the box does have yeah, some wear to it. Um, and they don't necessarily have to, they're not um, just for canasta. I'm trying to get this open with one hand. Okay. Um, these do have quite a bit of wear, but I, for me, that makes it even better. Um, and they do have some discoloration, so they were well used, well loved cards, but um, a lot of fun. And I did count. Um, I love the color on these. I did count, um, there's two full sets, um, 52 cards each, and then I believe there were four Joker cards included as well. So, and, um, just a fun, fun little box set. So, again, love the colors. Okay. So I have a serious issue, weakness, affinity for linens, crochet work, um, and the 
cards. I think I paid maybe a dollar fifty or two dollars for those. I took the tag off already because I took pictures, but um, it, they really weren't that much. Um, but back to the linens, the crochet work. My mom, who is in her early 80s, she does um, a lot of handwork, crochet work, knitting, um, needlepoint, crewel, painting. And I know how much time, effort, strain on the eyes, strain on those um, hands. I know how much goes into these things. So when I see them, I pick them up, but I'm really slow at listing them. And I think it's because I don't have a really good, I don't have a big light box and I don't really have a good way to display these. Um, so I'm trying to figure something out, but um, I need to get some listed because I have stacks of linens, crochet work, needlework, that type of stuff. Um, but there are actually two of these. There's a matching set and they were marked um, for $6 each. So I paid $3 each, so six for a pair matching set of these. Um, I had, there is a little bit of discoloration, um, you know, like staining. So I will probably take these up. I have some very gentle um, liquid detergent and um, hand soap that I use. Um, so I will probably try to clean these. They do smell like grandma, which is actually something that I kind of like. <laughs> um, and then here is the, the second one, the matching one. Um, these, depending, again, on the style, um, I can sell linens anywhere from $10 up to, um, you know, for a set of something like this, this is probably like a dresser set, maybe $45 for these, um, if they turn out pretty good. There are some loose threads on these, so I will try to clean those up and just make sure I don't have any holes in these too. But, um, when you have something like this, that's really detailed, it has, um, a lot of, a lot of floral, um, design in them, a lot of color, they will go higher. So this has um, purple, yellowy, golden, orange color, and then it has um, pink, and then, you know, just the regular white um, thread. So these are really pretty, and, um, but I need, I do need to wash these, and then I'll get them listed. They probably won't be listed until later this week or next week, but I'll try to get them um, up in the sink to just start soaking and I'll start to get these cleaned up. And then um, what I do typically is um, once I get them washed, I lay them flat and just let them air dry. Okay. And I I think this was the last item that I got from that estate sale. Um, like I said, I didn't get a lot um, in this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to list it. Um, but it is a tablecloth holder, tablecloth bag. Um, does have some staining so again this one I'm probably gonna take upstairs and let it soak but it is like a, um, a natural linen cloth um, it has like this rose or lotus pattern all hand stitched um, the rose looks like it's brown with yellow, and then it has green leaves, and then this um, 
the wording and then this little ribbon design is in the blue which match very nicely with um, the trim work that's done on here this looks like it's um, the trim is probably machine done um, but it's just a, a bag to help store and protect your tablecloths and um, Again, this was originally marked six, and so I paid three for that. And I think I'll be able to get that stain out. And I didn't really see too much, too much else on this um, for staining. All right. Well. Um, like I said, I think that was about it that I got from this estate sale. I got there um, later on 50% um, off day, which was the last day of the sale. So there wasn't a lot left. Um, so I um, hope you enjoyed this and I'll be continuing to improve my video audio recording um, in the future and I'll just keep doing more hauls for you and hope you enjoy. Thank you.